What's going on, everybody? Jibba73, back with the Double E Show Trucking. Back with American Truck Simulator. When we left off in the last episode, we had gotten over here to Pocatello with a big heavy load of metal coils. Now we're going to take some lumber over to Dole. Because, you know, uh, the fruit cannery needs wood. But we're going to Jackpot, Nevada. It should be a fun trip. We'll get there in uh, just over three hours. Ah, taking a sip of iced tea. Let's hop in the cabin. Take the parking brake off. It is off. Put it in drive. And go. I did get a comment about the automatic transmission and uh, also switching from the Kenworth. Now, that being said, I agree. I love the Kenworth. Um, I wanted to check out other trucks that are getting made and released by SCS. So I experimented with them. And the reason why I went with the automatic transmission, I have a sequential shifter. Mine does not move in an H pattern. It goes forward, it goes back. So I can shift up by pushing forward and shift down by, by pulling back. That being said, a lot of trucking companies today are buying automatic transmission trucks because they are easier to train somebody to drive. So it opens the uh, job pool to more people who are not as uh, proficient with driving uh, manual transmissions. Because, as you might know, if you grind the crap out of the gears, you are going to um, ruin the transmission. Ruining the transmission costs money. So automatic transmissions save money. They make it easier to hire drivers. So there's a, there's a million and one reasons why they do it. Well, probably, uh, you know, at least half dozen anyways. Um, but that being said, I, I wanted to simplify uh, the driving process to what, you know, a typical driver might experience today. Left, and then turn left. That being said, again, if I were to switch to a Kenworth or an old Mac or an old Scott or just an older truck period, maybe the W900 or whatnot, I would go back to a manual. I would go back to having to shift because I don't believe that they would have automatic transmissions in them. Okay, speed limit is 70. We're gonna see if we can get out to 70 miles an hour. Couldn't do much more than 55 oh, previously. Speed limit, uh, yeah, uh, because we had such a heavy load. Boy, am I all over the road for some strange reason. But here we go. Rest area next right. Very cool. Uh, 65. Set in cruise control. We did. Very good. I can't do 70. I, I, I believe all of these are counting as external contracts, uh, which is cool uh, because it fulfills my my job log on the world of trucks server if you play american truck simulator and you don't know what the world of trucks server is it is a server made by the scs company uh for the uh european truck simulator 2 and american truck simulator games if you go to the job market you've probably seen it you'll see external contracts if you click on that and you drive an external contract there's a log kept of it on your profile that you create on worldoftrucks.com. Pretty cool, right? It's like being in a trucking company, uh, or at least your own trucking company. Um, 1,500 RPMs at 65? Yeah, that works. That'll work. Cool, cool, cool. So we're moving along. I don't think I need high beams I don't I love the new lighting system oh my god do I love the new lighting system let's uh, get a way outside view here 
We'll keep off the rumble strips if we can. I'll try not to run up the backside of the truck that's in front of me. Because they're going slower. Do I still have that car alongside? I cannot see if he is still alongside. I have a feeling that right about the time where I'm going to need to pass these guys, somebody's going to come flying up. See the guy that's flying up alongside me now? Now you watch. As he gets closer... No, oh, okay. I was going to say, as he gets closer, one of these guys up here will hit their brakes so that you're forced to try to get over and you won't be able to. Makes it exciting. But, uh, yeah, we're doing fine. I love the dusk view. Let's uh, be quiet and watch the outside. J brakes and my regular brakes because yeah this guy's jamming his brakes on somebody is not merging properly whoop coming out around coming out around you're not uh, you're not very helpful I'm gonna see if I can dust you off you no know, you watch I'm gonna have to um, take an exit like right away or something but boy, Dusk looks pretty, does it not? Does it not? All right, you might have saw the dev console pop up there. Um, right before we just kind of jipped back. I was trying to hit the uh, escape button so I could get out to the, uh, the photo studio. Um, I know there's a button map for photo studio, and if you hit it, it goes right to photo studio. I'm going to hit P. Is that it? That's wipers. That's not what I was looking for. Just did an auto save. Had no idea. Yeah. Okay, that's fast, and we'll turn them off entirely. Yeah, we did. Okay, good. Yeah, it's not P. I don't know what photo mode is, but um, I know uh, the map is M. Um, if I hit M, it takes me to the map. See that, right? Oh, good. We're taking an exit coming up. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna preemptively put on my turn signal. Uh, okay, maybe a little early. There we go. Right, and then exit right. Okay, what's happening here? He's got somebody pulled over. Uh, oh, he, right. he yoinked a trucker. Very interesting. Love the color of the lights in that in that shot, though. The uh, lens flare, or the uh, the bloom of the lights, really cool. Really, really cool. Very good. So we'll stay about 40 coming down through here because I don't know whether's just dumping me. Okay, nope, we're coming down to an intersection. Okay. I was going to say, I had no idea whether it dumped me out on the highway or not, but. Okay. 940, good. We've got a green light. I will turn left under the green. And. Beauteous. Now, I'll stay to the right. Speed limit's 60, so I won't use my, I won't resume cruise control because that's set to 65. I will reset a speed once we get past the traffic light system here. Very nice, very nice. Red, green, very good. Right on. Let us go. So I've got a number of Jazzy Cat mods that uh, integrate cars and trucks and truck colors and company skins and stuff. And I've got a bulletin board mod going that, um, that uh, you know, gives you real bulletin boards and whatnot and so on and so forth. Ooh, we're going over a bridge. Whoops. Yo. Hey. Ho, ho, ho. I bumped my mouse. We're going over a bridge. Let's get this view. And that's another good screenshot. Right on. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Back in the cabin. Got a light ahead of us. It's another one of those situations where I don't know where we're going next. Looks like we're getting back on the highway up here. 
Uh, it does, it does. Yeah, it looks like we're getting on 84. Um, let me double check that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be going up. We're in 93 currently. Uh, Go I'm, straight on. I'm good on gas, but if this is an active fuel station here, I think I might stop and get gas. But I don't, I don't believe it is. Yeah, it, I don't think it is. That was some sort of a, well, maybe that was a sleep spot then. Yeah, so 93 north, right? So here's the sit go. But, yeah. Yeah, that's not actual gas. That's just uh, for looks. Got it. Keep right. Got it. What is right. up with that? Holy crap. And, uh... I just hit some kind of a wall, too. What is that? That is a messed up texture. My lord. Okay, so back in the truck. Let's see if I can not hit a wall here. I don't know if there is a wall here or not. Or whether I caught the curb. Okay, yeah, I must have hit the curb or something. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. They mess with you at the drive-thru. Okay? Okay. Take this. And this is a yield situation, so... Just gonna pull and go. Right on. Whoops. Leave my signal on. What am I going around the world to the right? To do Okay. Go straight on. I might. I might. Very cool. Very, very cool. So yeah, um again, with this week I I'm I'm back to back to back in it. Um Uh, yeah, I just ran a red light. My bad. I don't know why I thought it just... Uh, never mind. But it wasn't long of a wait, because you can see the cars right there are catching up to me already. So, I only jumped it by a little bit. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'm recording all these in a session because I'm able to. Hospital entrance, cool. Uh, I'm able to get all the recordings in now that are needed. Um... And that's important. High beams? Oh, I love it. So much better than the big, bright, washed-out headlights that they uh, that they were giving us for high beams. Awesome. And I get why they did it. You know, uh, well, you want to be able to see more in the dark. And they didn't realize that people were craving the realism of just slightly higher beams, you know? Very nifty. Very nifty. Coming around the bend. Coming around the bend. Cruise control set. Going over the tracks. Right on. Keep right. Yep, yep. Not doing anything. But you're arriving. Cool, cool. Let's get an outside view. Not bad. Whoops. Not bad. Not bad. Catching up to the guy in front of me here. I'm going to tap the brakes just a skosh. So I don't uh, give him a Freightliner enema. Trying to figure out what's he got. I can't tell what he's got. Hmm. Interesting. Probably shouldn't follow so close because at 45 miles an hour, if he stops dead because uh, AI physics are different, um, I'm going to ram him. <laughs> like, hardcore. 
So, 60 mile an hour speed limit, but uh, unsafe to pass at this point because, uh, well, hey, no longer in my passing zone. But there are cars coming the other way, and I can't really see past them uh, to see when it's clear. But we're close to the destination anyhow. Uh, we don't have to, you know, do anything stupid to ruin the cargo. Oh, cool. That little truck rest place back there was a, from what I could tell, a, a garage, but definitely was a sleep spot. So, very nice. I like that. Yeah, it's some kind of construction equipment. But it's really hard to tell what it is from this angle. Probably a bulldozer. Or, you know, a bucket loader of some type or whatever. Speed limit is 65, as it say. But we are getting up in speed, so yeah, it's either 65 or 55. But yeah. Um, we are in Nevada, and speed limit goes down to 45 coming up. So we're gonna slow it down. There we go. So, welcome to Nevada. Some of the other uh, mod packs I have run into is I have the uh, the Grand Theft Auto mod pack. It, all it does is it adds some of the dri uh, dri drivable, some of the cars that are in Grand Theft Auto to the AI traffic. Blackjack, Scrappy Blackjack or Scrappy Jack Black. Yeah, that's my dog. Jack Black. And then turn left. Right on. So we're gonna turn left up here. I'm going to get in this lane now. Turn left. Yeah, I certainly will. Coming around the bend, and... Very nice. Turn on some high beams. We've got a hotel right there. Very good. We can get some shut-eye. And uh, delivery. Just up here. Looks like I take a left, and it's on the right. So, very cool. So, anything coming from the right? I don't see. I don't see. Out I go. And... Get ready to turn right. Here comes the right-hand turn. turn right. And... Here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, there's my X. Fine. We are hit. And click. So, they could use it there. So, that's where we're going to go. Um, I'm looking to get XP in. So, putting my flashers on. Because we're in the yard. It looks like it's going over, yep, right in front of the... Uh, right in front of the barn here. So I'm going to wiggle it this way. going to wiggle it around this way. Oh, I see. So this is Dole Farms. This isn't actually like the cannery. These guys are growing the fruit. So I, now it makes sense that they could use the lumber. Alright, let's uh, roll the window down. Pop it in reverse. Put my head out. See if I can see how far off we are. Not super far off. There you go. I'm gonna come into it. I'm gonna look back forward. At this point, I can use the uh, the mirrors. But I am gonna do this for a second. Because I think now I'm straight, right? Almost, almost, almost straight. There we go.
There we go. I was wondering what the problem was. Okay, so let us... Uh, we will put the parking brake on. We will kill the engine. We will step out. And again, can't look at it from the left, so we will do it from the right. We will unhook the trailer. Decoupling. So how do we do, folks? How do we do? Uh, 178 miles, 33 minutes, 33 gallons of fuel, and uh, 6,100 bucks. We got a little bit of proficiency bonus. We got a little bit of extra XP. Very cool. So current company jobs, what do they got? Let's see. We can go to Twin Falls, Elko, Nampa. Nampa would be good, but that's what? Hey, okay. Elko, back up to Pocatello. By the way, over here, this is Wyoming. Okay, and uh, they don't have a label on it right now because obviously Coast to Coast is getting ready to um, uh, get ready to uh, change things. But you can see up here. Uh, Pro Mods, and all the way across is uh, Can of Dream. Can of Dream. Manchester is the only city that they have in New Hampshire. They only have Burlington in Vermont, so that's the capital. Boston is the only one they have in, in uh, Massachusetts. And then they've got Albany, Syracuse, Ithaca, Rochester, and New York City. Hartford, Connecticut, Providence, Rhode Island. Right on, North Carolina. They got a couple of, they got a couple out there. Asheville. I lived out near Asheville uh, a long time ago, and uh, just like in Florida, I lived. Um, so this is Pensacola. This is Tallahassee. Tallahassee is a little bit more to the right, actually, and I lived in this little clef here in a town called Inverness. But so Tampa is. Did they even have Tampa? Wow, you don't have Tampa? Really? So I lived I lived 40 miles north. Oh no, I, I lived uh I lived 80 miles north of Tampa, 40 miles north of Daytona Beach. 40 miles west, excuse me, of Daytona Beach. 80 miles north of Tampa, 40 miles west of Daytona Beach. They don't have Daytona Beach. That's the one I was looking for. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. But anyways, yeah, so back to back to the jobs. Um, which one is highlighted right here? Yeah, we could do this one. We'll, we'll do this one next week. So uh, I will, um, I will, uh, oh, wait a minute, that's a double? I don't want to do a double. I don't, feel like, I don't feel like doing a double. That goes to Moab, no. Selena, no. Guess what? Yeah, we, we can't do that one. Uh, here, here. Yeah, we could go up to Nampa with the, with the hay. With the hay. With the hay. Yeah, why don't we do that? I know this one pays more, but we'll do that one. So we'll do the uh we'll do that. Um Ernest and Julio Gallo get some fruit. They get some hay uh from the fruit place uh for their wine. Uh they gotta feed the uh the the horses or cows or whatever's uh uh you know uh, fertilizing their, their grapevines. Okay, so I'm gonna click begin delivery. It's not gonna do anything but take us take us back to our truck so yeah so let's uh let's get out of the cabin view here um that's gonna do it for this week's episode if you like what you watch hit the like and subscribe button down below tell your family tell your friends any suggestions tips tricks mods you'd like to see maybe you want to get into a convoy hit me up with the comment section and i'll read them with that i will catch you next monday hopefully with another episode of american truck simulator <laughs> Peace. That's a big 10-4, good buddy. I'ma hop off the big road and pay the water bill. I'm 10-7 on the side. Uh, uh.